Hello, my name is Rosella and today I'm going to do chapter 4 in this book. If you haven't done it yet, click on the red button there and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a video anymore. You can also find me on Facebook, Theory Virtuoso, or Instagram, Theory Virtuoso, where you can revise your knowledge and know lots of new useful things. You can also know when and what I'm going to publish next. Remember, you can also visit my website, theorievirtuoso.com, where you can find all the videos that I publish. There are music theory videos to help you learn or revise your knowledge, tutorials on discovering music theory, past exam papers in the new format 2020, the online format, piano tutorials to help you boost your confidence when you play the piano, and quizzes to test your knowledge and see if you need a bit of revision. I hope this is useful. And of course, if you have anything to say, just leave me a comment. Easy. Thank you. Ciao. Okay, in exercise one, we are asked to tick the right key signature, written correctly, um, of the given key chords. Let's have a look at the first one. F sharp major. If you have watched my video 2C, you should know that the F sharp major key signature is made up of six sharps. In fact, uh, the previous one semitone below is E sharp. So if we count, is Fa, Do, So, Re, La, Mi. So six sharps. These key signatures have all six sharps, but they are written in different ways. So some of them are incorrect. Actually, three of them are incorrect. Let's have a look. The key signatures with sharps have always this irregular shape, as I said in the video 2B. Okay. Only with the tenor clef, it's zigzagging and ascending. So this way. Okay. Now we can see that this one is incorrect because it doesn't really relate to this shape. This one might be correct. This one is incorrect because it's ascending, but it's the alto clef, but it should be in the tenor clef. And in the tenor clef, there is another shape. So we already know that this one is the key, the right key signature. I really recommend to watch the video 2B because if you relate the key signatures with a shape, um, it's much easier to remember the right key signature. It's very easy here to write a uh, la sharp up here and and get get on with the uh, ascending um, waves, but it is incorrect. So this one is the right answer. The key signatures with flats are always a descending zigzagging shape. So this way, okay? So, E flat minor is the relative minor of G flat minor, and G flat is the penultimate flat. So, if we can count C, si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, and Do, so six flats, all of them, all of these key signatures have six flats. So, they might be all correct, but only one has the right shape. Let's have a look. Si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, Do. That might be correct. Si, mi, la, re, sol. That's definitely incorrect. So, si, mi, la, re, sol. That's definitely incorrect because the flat should be here. So, incorrect. Si, mi, la, re, sol, do. That is incorrect because the note should be here. Mm? So, that's incorrect. There you go. You have the last one. That is the correct answer. Let's carry on. B major has five sharps. Now, to get there, we need to um, move a semitone lower. So B, a semitone lower than B is A sharp, La sharp. So we count Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, five sharps. 
now let's remember the shape of the sharps is this unless there is the tenor clef there is an ascending zigzagging shape um this one has it this one has it this one doesn't have it so this is definitely incorrect and this one might but if you see that the ascending the waves are not ascending at the end so i think this is incorrect as well so now here let's have a look fa do sol re la this is not la hmm? it should be down here so this is incorrect as a result this is correct let's double check fa do sol re la correct here you go b flat minor is the relative minor of d flat major d flat is the la the penultimate flat in our key signature so let's count si mi la re and sol so five flats all of them have um, all of the, uh, the the four key signatures here have five flats so we can't exclude any of them yet but if we look at the shapes or oh, they are totally different one from another so the zigzagging descending shape um, is only here so we already know that this is the, the correct one but let's check si mi la re sol that's also incorrect so bye bye si mi la re sol that's all correct but look at the shape this is totally incorrect because the octave of this is incorrect it should have been here and this one should have been down here so this is incorrect si mi la re sol that is not sol but it's do flat so goodbye to you as well and this is as a result is the correct answer now to avoid uh, confusion i'm just going to rub these out so you can see the whole page nice and tidy and you can see where the right answers are as I said, the video 2B is very useful for uh, this exercise and the link is, the description, is in the description below. It really teaches you how to recognize the right key signature by the shape of it. I hope this was helpful and let's move on to the next one. In this exercise 2, we need to circle one clef that would make this key signature correct given the stated chord key chord sorry let's have a look at the first one g sharp minor is the relative minor of b major the semitone before g uh, b sorry is um a flat so let's count fa do sol re la five sharps and this is correct the shape is our our usual one so how do we go how do we choose our clefs well basically if you figure out the name of the first sharp you know that all of them follow the first one so this is fa so the treble clef is the right answer so let's um circle this g sharp minor in treble clef the second one is G flat major. G flat is our penultimate flat. So let's count. Si, mi, la, re, sol, do. Six flats. And here they are. Now, as um, per the key signatures with sharps, if we figure out the name of the first one, of course, well, the... the um, the clef that would make us read this flat B, because B is the first flat in, or in any key signature, we would know the clef. This is one above B. So to read it B, we have to go minus one. Which clef makes you read minus one? The tenor clef. And to answer this in a mathematical way, please watch my video 1D when I talk about how to read um, the, the notes in all the clefs 
using something that I called transposition by eye that makes you do a mathematical operation so that you would read the notes in treble clef zero, the notes in, um, in the alto clef plus one. So you add one note to the treble clef note and minus one will be the tenor clef and plus two is the bass clef. Watch the video, 1D is in the link in the description below. So which clef is minus one? The tenor clef. So there you go. This is the right answer. Is it clear, guys? Let me know. Leave a comment so I know how easy I'm making things for you. In the next exercise, there is D sharp minor. There is the relative minor of F sharp major. To find out how many sharps, once again, we go one semitone lower and that would be E sharp and then we count Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi, six sharps. Now the shape is correct, it's like the one that we talked about before. Um, let's read the first sharp and make it an F. Now this note is two steps below what we would read fa in the treble clef. So definitely we do plus two to read it fa because that would be re plus two equals fa. So plus two is the mathematical operation that we do when we read in the bass clef. So bass clef is the answer. The next one, D flat major, has of course five flats because si, mi, la, re, and so we add another one. Now, which in which clef we would read this note B? It's one below, so it's plus one is the is the um, operation that we need to do the, to transpose it by I. And plus one is the alto clef. There you go. As you can see, once you know the um, mathematical operation, it becomes very easy because you can do it very quickly. Plus one, minus one, and plus two. In F sharp major, we have six sharps. There you go. In which clef we would read this uh, fa? It's one above, so we would do minus one, okay? And that is the tenor clef. Now, um, do you remember the shapes that we talked about? In these three clefs, the key signature with sharps would have this shape, okay? And only in the tenor clef is an ascending wave. And so there you go, it's the tenor clef. E flat minor has six flats because it's the relative minor of G flat, three semitones above. So uh, we count uh, C, si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, and we add another one, so six flats. In which clef we would read this note B. Pause the video if you need to think, but I will tell you that this is sol plus two equals C. So definitely plus two is our operation and plus two is the bass clef. There you go. Was it easy guys? Better? I hope so. Let's move on for now. Okay, so in this exercise number three, we are asked to add accidentals in these scales where the accidentals are not put in place. Um, first, we need to find out the number of accidentals included in a scale, G flat major. Um, so that with the scales with flats, we need to add one flat after the notes that we have. So, si, mi, la, re, sol, do. Six flats. Uh, my suggestion is to uh, add them onto the scale in order, so you won't forget them. Make sure, and this is a very common mistake, that you don't forget the two notes one at the beginning and one at the end. Both of them are G and both of them must be flat. So you can't start a G flat uh, major scale on G flat and end on G natural. This is a very common mistake. Is it, of course, uh, is an omission, but it costs you marks. So let's try to avoid it, shall we? Okay, so 
This is the bass clef. So this G, the Sol, La, Si. This is the first flat in our key signature. Si, Mi. So Si, Do, Re, Mi. La, Sol, La. Here it is. Si, Mi, La, Re. Sol, both, as we said, and Do. Si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, Do. Okay? So, and if you want, if you want, you can double check. Si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, Do. Plus the last one. Easy, right? Let's move on to the second one. E flat melodic minor. Okay, the descending melodic scale is equivalent to the um, relative major. So the relative major of E flat minor is G flat major that just by chance we've just done, but let's do the whole things properly. So E flat minor, first of all, I would say, why don't we add a flat onto the, the first and the last note straight away so we won't forget. Okay, we say the G flat uh, major has um, six flats. So let's add them onto our notes here. C, Mi, we've done it already. La, Re, Sol, Do. That's it. So again, the E flat melodic minor in the descending version is equivalent to G, ma G flat um, major, so the relative major. That's the easiest. If this would be um, harmonic, the only thing that we should do is to raise up the penultimate degree of the scale. So watch out if it's ascending, is here, if, the, if it's descending, it's close to the beginning. So the leading note, we have to raise up the leading note, D, of it by a semitone. So that would be just from D flat, it becomes D natural. We don't need a natural there. However, you can add it just in case, but you don't need it because there's no key signature here. So we don't need, this is D natural anyway. So that would be the harmonic version. So we will we'll talk about it in the next one because the next one the next exercise um the next question uh, asks us to um add the sharps onto this d sharp harmonic scale so it is descending and we have the alto clef now don't panic this is d sharp okay so plus one do plus one is re but this re is natural so first of all sharp at the beginning and at the end. Sometimes it's hard to write the sharps correctly. Make sure that the uh, middle of the sharp, of the hashtag, if we want, is on the same line, on the same um, level of the note. So if we want to, let me write it bigger so you can see. Okay, so let's imagine that we write a note here in the middle of the hashtag symbol. That would be the note. So make sure that you don't write a sharp up here. That is incorrect. Also in grade five, it is kind of expected that you write neatly. Okay, so let's have a look. D sharp minor is the relative minor of F sharp major. To find out the number of the sharps, we just um, go one semitone below, E sharp, and then we count Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi, six sharps. And as we did with the scales with flats, we just add them in order. Fa. Now to write Fa, we need to find Mi because 
that is plus one. So fa, if you want, you can write the names of the notes. Okay, so this is D, uh, C, B, well, Re, Do, Si, La, So, Fa, Mi. I need to think if I if I call them A, B, C. So, um, or you can do like Re, Mi, Fa, okay? So Fa, Do, that's the second note. Now, to call Do um, a note, we need to do plus one, so minus one, that's this one. C plus one equals Do, and it's the last before. Let's just do the normal one, okay? Let's just raise it up. Mm. We just uh, put a, an asterisk there, so we remember that we need to raise it up at the end. So, fa, do, sol. Re, we've done it. La, here it is. And me, here it is. Okay. Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi. As you can see, there is only one note left without A sharp. And we said that F sharp major has six sharps. So you can see that the seventh is missing. Um, let's raise this up. D sharp, uh, sorry, C sharp becomes C double sharp. Now, you can do this as a double sharp, but usually the double sharp is written with an X. There you go. This is the um, double sharp symbol. And this is the harmonic scale descending. Descending or ascending is the same. The only thing you need to look at is that you raise up the seventh degree. degree. So do not start from the first note and count the seventh if it's descending. The seventh is the one before the tonic. So this one. Let's move on to the last one, F sharp major. Okay, this one is the same. So we, we, we've been lucky today. F sharp major has five, uh, sorry, six sharps. And we know straight away that this, these first two notes are sharp. First and last. Now, uh, the tenor clef is treble clef minus one. So this is fa. Let's go in order. Fa. Do. Well, this is a bit untidy. Let me write it again a bit better. There you go. So, Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi. That's it. Fa, sol, la, si, do, re, mi, fa. Perfect. Now, here as well, we can see that the, there is only one note left without a, a sharp. In this challenge, we are asked to add accidentals before the note. So this melody would be in F sharp major. Now the procedure is the same that um, as um, the ones we've applied in exercise one, two and three. We just need to think of how many sharps have a sharp major has and then in order we just add them to the melody. Easy peasy. So F sharp major, we go uh, back by um, a semitone and we find E sharp. That is our last sharp in our key signature. So then we count fa, do, sol, re, la, mi. Six sharps. We have also the name of them, so let's add them. Fa, here it is. Fa. Another fa is here. And that's it, I think. Do. 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 And do. Sol, 
we have one sol here and I think that's the only one fa do sol re re is just here la la and that's it the last one is mi fa do sol re la mi so we have one mi here Oh, sorry, one re here, I forgot. And me. Okay. As per in the other um, exercises, fa sharp major is um, has a, a six sharps. So only one sharp is missing. C, B sharp. And as we can see, B is the only note here that doesn't have any sharps. So just to double check, it's always useful to double check. Was it quick, easy, fun? I hope so, let me know. In this exercise number four, we are asked to write the note indicated as a degree of the scale um, in each box. Make sure that uh, you also include any accidentals, they say. So let's start. B flat melodic minor. The tonic is B flat and they want us to find the median. The median is the third degree. So C, si, Do, Re. Let's write just a note as simple as that. Re. Okay. Now, would that D be flat? Well, we find out. First of all, Let's identify the key signature and the number of flats. C flat is the, uh, so B flat minor, okay, this is a minor scale, is the relative minor of G flat um, major. G flat is the penultimate flat in our key signature, so here we count. C, Mi, La, Re, Sol, Do, six, um, flats. Now let's see if we uh, call this median si, mi, la, re. Yes, we did. So this D is flat. E flat harmonic minor is in bass clef. So E flat, this is the tonic. They want us to find the leading note. Now, the leading note might scare you because it's the seventh degree, so you have to count a lot, but actually, I'll tell you a very quick and useful tip. Uh, the leading note is one semitone below the tonic. So E flat, that would be um, D natural. We just have to write a D natural. So the um, D natural will be here. Okay, however, let's go through the whole process just because we want to learn how to identify exactly the things without tips and tricks. Okay, so E flat minor is the relative minor of G flat minor, and the number of flats is Si, Mi, La, Re, Sol, Do, six. So let's see if this Re is included. Si, Mi, La, Re. Yes, it is. So D should be flat. However, this is a harmonic minor. So in the harmonic minor, we raise up the um, uh, leading note by a semitone. So from D flat, we um, get to D natural. You don't need to write to add a natural symbol here because there's no key signature, so this D is automatically natural. However, it is accepted because it's, it is a courtesy accidental, we call it. Okay, let's move on. G flat major, we've done the minor, um, relative minor of G flat, so we should be quite straightforward but let's go uh, in order. The tonic is G flat, and then if we call this is G flat. Now, the submedian is the sixth degree. So, sol, la, si, do, re, mi. So that's an E. To write a mi, we need to write a 
middle C because um, it's plus two. Now, would this be flat? Well, let's find out. We only need to see if we name the note Mi when we say the key signature aloud. So C, Mi, of course, is the second um, um, flat in, our, in, in any key signature. So let's write A flat. Easy? I hope so. Let's move on. Okay, um, the sharp melodic minor. As usual, let's consider the relative major because through the relative major, we find out everything we need to know. So D sharp minor is a relative minor of F sharp. So um, F sharp, one semitone below is E sharp, mi. So let's count. Fa, do, sol, re, la, mi. Six sharps. The dominant is the fifth degree. So this is uh, plus one. So let's write plus one. Plus one. So we have, um, this is a re sharp, okay? To write, um, the dominant is uh, five, um, the fifth degree. So re, mi, fa, sol, la, la sharp. La, to write la, we need to write sol because then we uh, go a semitone higher. So sol, okay, let's see if this is sharp. If we name la in our key signature, we, uh, we need a sharp. Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La. Of course we do. So yes, it is sharp. Do we have anything to raise up in the fifth degree? No, we don't. So, done. Let's have a look at this one. This is also the alto clef. So plus one, F sharp major is the relative major of D sharp minor. So we've done it already. However, let's go through the whole thing. They ask us to find the leading note. I've already told you that um, the leading note is one semitone below. So this is fa sharp and the leading note will be mi sharp. Okay, so we only need to write mi sharp up here or just, um, well, we can decide, but if we want uh, to write E, we need to write D in treble clef, so that will be it. D sharp, okay? Um, that will be E sharp, so fa sharp, E sharp. The semitone before. Um, let's just do the whole process just because we want to do it to make sure that we know the exact process and then you find your tricks. You use your tricks when you can. Um, fa, um, fa sharp, so mi sharp, okay? And um, mi, actually the note is mi. Let's see if we name the note mi when we recite the key signature. Fa, do, sol, re, la, mi of course, is the, is the last sharp in our key signature. So yes, it is sharp. Easy? Let's move on to D sharp harmonic minor, this time in the uh, uh, tenor clef. The tenor clef is minus two. Again, when you want to revise the uh, how to uh, transpose the note by I, uh, go and check uh, my video 1D. The link is in the description below. It's very useful because it lets you read the notes quickly and safely. Now, the supertonic is the note just above the tonic. So we can go, we don't even need to read this note. We just go one above. Now, would that be sharp? Let's have a look. D sharp, the next one is E sharp. So uh, let's recite the key signature again. Fa, Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi. And that is the, um, the last sharp of our key signature. This is also me, so sharp. Easy. The same with E flat melodic minor. Okay. E flat melodic minor and D sharp are the same because the, 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 the sound is in a henna enharmonic. So it looks difficult, but it isn't. However, I'm here to help you. So let's go through the process with the flats one more time. 
and this is the tonic and it's E flat and again it's minus one so fat minus one equals E. The subdominant is the fourth degree. You can count, okay, mi, fa, so la, or you can just um, count step by step. So mi, fa, sol with a ledger line and la. So it's just above the ledger line. That will be C in the treble clef minus one equals la. So um, it's all double checked. Um, is it a flat? Let's have a look. E flat melodic minor is the relative minor of G flat. G flat is the penultimate flat in our key signature, so let's count. Si, mi, la, re, sol, uh, do. So six flats. Now, d have I named la? Yes, but let's check again. Si, mi, la. So yes, it is a flat. There you go. Was it easy? Was it helpful? Let me know. Write me a comment and put a like on this video if it is useful. Thank you. Let's move on now 